Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide and in today's video we are checking out the latest official update for the Remarkable platform and that is the update version 3.17. But before we proceed with that I invite you to go to mydeepguide.com shop and check out the MDO which is my daily organizer and MMP which is my deep guide meeting planner both of which are hyperlinked PDF files carefully designed and organized to be out of the way but allow you a tremendous amount of power and flexibility in that type of a work format. MDO is a yearly organizer file that helps you organize all of your personal and or professional needs on a yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily uh, yeah, level. And MMP or My Deep Guide Meeting Planner is there to help you simplify, centralize and organize all of your meeting planning needs. These have been specially designed to increase your productivity, stay out of the way and be super simple and intuitive to use and to work extremely well with e-paper devices such as the Remarkable Paper Pro or the Remarkable 2. You can find more information about these products in the description below and know that purchasing any of these products from the mydeepguide.com shop directly helps support independence of My Deep Guide. And now onwards with the release 17 to the Remarkable platform. All right, so here is release 3.17 on my uh, personal Remarkable Paper Pro, which is so yellowish, makes me feel sad, but that's what you get. So um, the update release 3.17, it introduces several new functionalities and a new service that they are introducing in a kind of beta mode. And that is called Remarkable Methods, and it's right now beta. And it says, our curator collection of templates and workbooks that are tailored to your needs. These techniques inspire flow, structure and clarity, helping you transform how you lead meetings, take notes and solve complex problems with fresh methods. Discover more at methodsremarkable.com, launching exclusively for all Connect subscribers. So this is a Connect subscription exclusive uh, type of uh, service. So if you do not have Connect um, service, you won't be able to use this. And uh, regarding the remarkable methods, I want to tell you that I am currently in conversations. I have been approached by Remarkable regarding the MDO and MMP if they are going to appear as uh, part of the Remarkable Methods or not. I can't really divulge any details further because we still haven't really discussed a lot further in that direction. But I'm just telling you that this is uh, something that I have been approached by Remarkable regarding that. I don't know yet in which direction it may go. It is a possibility at this point in time, so we'll see. As far as the new functionalities go, well, we have a couple of new things. The most fun one is the shapes and by now I think that all of you already know the story between behind the shapes and I think it's a really endearing and a cool type of thing that where one of the users was trying to uh, kept drawing circles and posting on Remarkables, I think Reddit or something like that. And he, yeah, the person tried to kind of draw a perfect circle for I think 60 days or something like that. And then they just kind of released it finally uh, where you can have shapes. So let's check that out. All right, so drawing of the shapes uh, should be straight forward. Straight forward. And now I should just circle this. Turns into a circle or an ellipse. And yep, I can rotate it and I can scale it. This feels intuitive. This feels really, really fast and pretty, pretty cool. So I can just have this. Then I can have maybe a rectangle. There we go. And then a line that points to it that gets straightened. And this is like really, really cool way of uh, working with the Remarkable because this is something that I really think that the platform missed. Now let's see how intelligent is it in recognizing shapes. Um, let's see, does it recognize a star? No. Uh, does it recognize a pentagon? No, let's try and give it a bit more, kind of nicer type of thing. No, 
Let's try a hexagon. All right, no. So for now, it's circle. Uh, it's triangle. And it's a square or a rectangle. Yeah. Now, the thing that I'm kind of confused is um, how do you get a perfect square in a perfect rectangle? I, I guess it just kind of tries and understands. Yeah, it, it estimates. If you're close enough, it's going to try and give you, help you to make it kind of perfect. All right, so that's definitely works. And I think that it's a good addition to the overall functionality. I just wish that we had a fill tool because especially with Remarkable Paper Pro, that would, uh, yeah, that would go a long way, but I don't think that they've added a fill tool. No, no, not that I can see. Okay, then we have the addition of color coded where the brush presets that you make, they will also let you know which color of the marker is being used. I think that that's a really, really helpful thing to have, especially on a color device like the Remarkable Paper Pro. So let's see how that works in practice. And while we're there, we can see that if I change this to a marker that is red now it's going to indicate that and here let's make it green yep and this is my marker with which i can fill in this though again i wish that i had a fill tool where i can just simply point and then it fills in the um yeah enclosed lines or an enclosed shape definitely would be a useful addition but all right and finally we have standby selection where Finally, they are releasing and allowing the users the ability to customize the standby time or when the device shuts off. So the default is 20 minutes before the device shuts off, but you can set it to five minutes or to one hour in battery settings which is completely like baffling that this was not a thing from the beginning and this is like a a big thing, but for the world of remarkable, yeah, but, but closed downness of a system, this is an indication again of them, I think, starting to be more open towards the yeah input that the community has and what the needs of the community are from their devices and sure enough if we go to settings and battery settings we have standby which can be totally turned off um, so you can either make your device never have a standby and just turns off after 12 hours of inefficient or inactivity or you have an automatic standby between 5 20 or 60 minutes and in other improvements we have a search filter improvements and a really really meaningful thing that i think that remarkable missed for a long long time and it finally has it which is that if you go to display settings you can toggle on and off to keep content visible when the paper tablet is inactive that is such an important thing and something that i use constantly on other tablets and it's a really really welcome thing to see uh, that it's been added to remarkable uh, platform as well of course keep this in mind when you choose a new length for standby because of the privacy because you know it's displaying your stuff on the screen and now in display settings in addition to brightness levels for remarkable paper pro uh, we do have the visible content open here as well and by default it's on so that means that if i shut it down or it goes to sleeping it's ah okay so i guess it's only when it goes to automatic standby so let's adjust that and see if it's gonna work Oh, while I was testing this, they have fixed the incorrect rendering of graphics elements in, uh, yeah, in PDF files. So now the MDO works normally, or as it should, on a Remarkable Paper Pro as well, which is kind of cool to see. All right, so I'm just going to write some stuff down and wait for five minutes and see if the standby continues showing the contents.
And here we are a couple of minutes later and it is in standby and we do see the content of the screen. So that works. Well, okay, so the update 317 definitely is continuing in that same type of direction that we've noticed from 315, I think. Yeah, 315, 316, and now 317. We see this change, slight but noticeable change for long term remarkable users and somebody who kind of follows all of the updates, like I do, have been for seven years now. You definitely see a bit of a kind of leaning a little bit more towards what the community is asking, what the community is communicating to Remarkable and things like that. So I think that that's nice and definitely improves the platform quite a bit. And I think that all of the additions here in 3.17 are actually meaningful additions. As far as the methods go, I'm not really gonna go too much into details uh, about that yet for two simple reasons. There's nothing really to talk about yet other than what I mentioned that they've approached me and that we're talking about stuff. But the second part is that I'm not really entirely sure at this point uh, yeah, what is permissible to talk, what is not permissible to talk about before I venture into discussing the methods with you guys on my deep guide. So yes, I will be covering methods but because of these things that are ongoing at the moment, it's going to be at a slightly later date when these things are more crystallized and more clear cut. I hope that you found the video informative and or useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description below. And do let me know in the comments down below what you think about the yeah, coming updates and also what are the other features that were long standing and things that you would want the Remarkable tablet to or Remarkable environment to actually have because they're starting to work on these kinds of things. So it's maybe worthwhile to engage in a discussion and get your voice to be kind of heard and read. And then we see like, uh, yeah, how that reflects the future development of the Remarkable platform as a whole. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.